Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Ruchang Bamboo Cooking Utensils. You'll receive six different bamboo wood utensils. A spatula, a spoon with tines, a slotted spoon, a sauce spoon, a slotted spatula, and a risotto spoon. You'll also get an open top bamboo wood storage container. The utensils are all the same length around 12 inches, with a paddle size of 2 and a quarter inches wide and 3 and a half inches long. At the end of each handle is a hole for hanging the utensil. These utensils are really lightweight, yet feel sturdy and durable. The bamboo wood doesn't flex or bend and feels strong. The wood container has a 5 inch height and 3 and 3 quarter square inch base. The exterior is glossy and polished, unlike the untreated and finish free cooking utensils. The utensils sit upright, loosely arranged in the box for easy storage and access. One thing I noticed is that out of the box they feel a bit dry and powdery, probably just sawdust. On the inside cut edges you may notice a few stray wood fibers, though for the most part the cuts are smooth and clean. I did notice a tiny bit of tear out here on the back of the slotted spoon, but nothing that would interfere with the functionality of the utensil. Along the edges, while smooth and splinter free, some tended to be sanded unevenly. For example, there's a bit more edge grain on the left side of this spatula than on the right. The other thing is that the spoons are quite dry when you receive them, and haven't been treated with any oils or waterproofing. So the first thing I did was get out my mineral oil, which is pharmaceutical grade and food safe. Before washing the spoons, I made sure to give them a good coat of oil by gently rubbing it into the surface with a paper towel, then allowing the wood to absorb it overnight. You can also use cutting board oil. This process not only protects the spoons from dry rot, it also helps repel water, making them less likely to build up or harbor harmful bacteria. It gives the utensils a darker, richer color too, bringing out the natural beauty of the wood. After the oil has been absorbed, I gave them a quick rinse to remove any residue of the oil and sawdust. As these spoons are natural wood, hand washing is recommended over washing them in the dishwasher, which can dry out and reduce the lifespan of the utensils. What's great about these bamboo utensils is that you can use them in your nonstick cookware and not have to worry about damaging the coating. Even with plenty of pressure applied, it's just too soft to make scratches on the cookware. The risotto spoon is great for fluffing rice and grains, as well as stirring sauces and jams, like this homemade cranberry sauce. However, with strongly colored foods, just be aware that they may stain your spoons, as the wood is quite porous. Here you can see that this utensil is stained pink from the red sauce. The sauce spoon was perfect for stirring, scooping, and spreading tomato sauce on my homemade pizza. Again, the sauce mildly stained the wood of the spoon a different color. The two spatulas work well to lift and flip different foods while cooking, though I feel the slotted one could have been cut at a slightly steeper angle. Overall, these wooden utensils work great in my kitchen. They're versatile, durable, and can be used on nonstick cookware. They're also sustainable and easy to clean and care for. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.